Hi everyone, welcome back to Mind Desk. Today we're gonna go over how to 3D scan a room and build from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my structure sensor into my iPad. Nothing too fancy, just a small little add-on. I'm gonna calibrate and start scanning right away. This is just my bedroom. I'm gonna speed it up really quickly. But in real life, obviously, you're gonna have to go a lot slower. And once I finish with the scan, I'm gonna go ahead and import it into Rhino. You'll notice right away that there's some holes. Uh, these holes right here, here, and here are from either skylights, windows, or from a mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to model um, just a basic shape, which is a trapezoid that I'm gonna extrude horizontally. And then from there, I'm gonna activate my grasshopper that will be triggered for windows, doors, and picture frames, depending on the layer that I'm in. So once I set up that extrusion, I can zoom inside and see exactly what I can model from. Um, so I'm gonna start with the frames. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the frames layer is on and everything I model when polyline will create a frame at a certain width of wood as well as the outside of the wall. So once I create that curve, I can pull it out and you can see the frame from there. I'm gonna copy it here, rotate it, bring it over to this wall. This is gonna be the mirror I have in my room here. Just scale it to the right level and to right width. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate one more time for the frame that's above the drawers here. Pulling my headset up so I can see the screen, I'm gonna switch layers again to the door layer, which is programmed with the grasshopper to have a wider and deeper wooden frame. So once I create this one in the corner, I can go ahead and copy it to the left over here, and then one more to the front here by rotating. Once I've placed this door, the last step is to go into the windows layer and begin modeling the same rectangle. This will create a window frame that punctures through the outside wall of the original trapezoidal space that I made. So starting with this outside window here, just make a quick rectangle across here and then finish that there. And then on top of the skylight, I'm gonna go ahead and just make that. Using the near surface command, I'm able to click exactly where I want to. Once you turn off the scan model, you'll see the clean and simple geometry that's left over, allowing for easy interior design modeling. Thanks everyone and stay tuned for more Mindesk tutorials coming your way.